I chose to serve in the military because, you know, every uh, little boy wants to be like their father. So my father retired from the Army, uh, 82nd Airborne Division. And, uh, you know, growing up, wanting to be like my dad, he joined the military. Only thing I did differently was I joined the Marine Corps instead of the Army first. But as you see, I followed in his footsteps and finished it up with the Army. Veterans Day means to me, um, it's not just, um, you know, back in the day we used to have a little joke about it. it's just a day off work, uh, you get a 40 holiday. So when you really start thinking about Veterans Day, you reflect back to, uh, it, all, it really goes all the way back to World War I uh, when they really started this. But um, it's just people that served, you know, in the military in any capacity, uh, people that you've lost uh, over the years at war. Um, it really, really just makes you reflect back on everything uh, because we have an all-volunteer service. We have all-volunteer military. Some countries is not volunteers, more voluntold. And they don't have that option to serve or not to serve like we do in the United States. So, you know, it, it means a lot to me just because I reflect back on all the, the guys and girls that I've lost uh, during the war. And because they're not here to celebrate the day themselves, you know, I kind of reflect back and celebrate it for them. So I think the best way to honor a vet on Veterans Day is just to stick your hand out and say, thank you for your service. Um, it should be a humbling experience for a veteran that's actually served for the right purpose. And sometimes that's all you really need. You don't really need that if you're proud of, what, if you're proud of serving. But you know, most people just stick their hand out and say thank you. And for me, that's more than enough. Thank you.